What's going on, Flix Talkers? Welcome back to another video, this time talking about the brand new series, Power Book 2 Ghost. Now, this is a spinoff of the show Power that was pretty big on the Stars Network, a show that I did follow for its six season run, and I'm so glad I did, and I'm so glad it did get a spinoff. But the main reason why I'm reviewing episodes one and two is because initially, I didn't know how I was gonna feel about episode one, so I wanted to let that marinate as well as episode two to see if it was a, st a show that I am going to stick with and I'll let you guys know that in a second but before we get into my thoughts and my spoiler review so just a spoiler alert we will be talking spoilers for episode one and two make sure you guys hit that thumbs up as well as that subscribe and bell notification for more content like this all right so episode one of power book two ghost it is entitled the stranger and pretty much what we get is a wrap-up of previously on power that you guys have seen if you guys are following the series once again i cannot emphasize if you have not watched the series power do not watch Power Book 2 Ghost, guys. You will not have any clue really of what's going on, even though in episode one there is a lot of flashbacks, a lot of tie-ins, and uh, a lot of character development that we got from Power. So I really emphasize on checking that series out before you jump into this brand new series. Uh, it's something that came, I believe, maybe a less than a year after the final episode of season six, where we did get that huge, you know, know who done it the whole last season was pretty much who killed ghost and you know we finally got that we saw that it was Tariq and it led to this spinoff where Tariq is the main focus of inheriting the money attributed you know and built by ghosts from this drug empire over the years but the only way Tariq can get that is if he completes four years of college so at, we have at least four years to get into the say you know this book uh two ghost chapter so I know it's kind of a hard title to get used to we're so used to power as you know the main title of the the show that we're watching but now it's previously on ghost i don't know how i like that you know you guys let me know in the comments below do you guys like that as a main kind of reference title but anyways guys so we're thrown into the mix um just kind of leading off exactly the events of the last season of power and i absolutely love that uh so you get your whole bunch of tasha you get Tariq, you get the grandmother you even get yasmin who is like i is this the same yasmin because it looks like she sprouted up three, four years in one year. I can't believe it. I feel like last season of, of Power, we were just like looking at her in a baby stroller or just kind of walking around, barely walking. Now she looks like a preteen. What's going on? Maybe I'm just not paying attention, but she's, you know, older now and uh, she has to focus, um, Tariq has to focus on, you know, getting this money for the family. Tasha is now accused of the murder of James St. Patrick. So she's on trial. She's actually behind bars this whole time. And, uh, you know, it's up to Tariq to get his classes in order, as well as he has to uh, uh, tutor this student who's there on a scholarship, who we find out more information. Woo! And the information about this guy, man more than meets the eye i will just say that he's more than just a jock and uh it was a cool tie-in that we got to see but before jumping ahead to that situation you know Tariq is having to balance all this work as well as getting his mom a lawyer which he's really trying to get the lawyer uh played by method man uh and uh you know he's like the top of the top man uh of his uh class and he's not cheap. I mean, we're talking about half a mil he has to put down just to work on the case. So it was really interesting. If you guys like CSI and like, you know, Law and Order and those type of shows, I feel like it's focusing a lot more on the law aspects of everything, you know, whereas opposed to power, you were focused on more of the street gritty side, uh, a lot of sexual things going on. You get a little bit of hints of that in these first couple of episodes, but it is more on the, the, the logistics and the law side of everything the ins and outs um you know with a little bit of crime sprinkled in there and of course like i said past characters which we got a, a lot of development in so i'll jump to this character that i was talking about ezekiel cross who they call zeke he's there on a scholarship uh he's just there to play ball but of course uh he is on academic 
probation um and you know it's it's Tariq's job to kind of mentor and tutor him to get him back on the right path he basically said you know they basically let it be known as long as he keeps playing ball you should be fine I mean you're at this prestige college where there's not very minor not very many minorities there to complete this mission pretty much at hand where he has to complete you know his studies to obtain this inheritance and I think it's in excellent way to just kind of continue the spinoff of power because that was a show that i did fall in love with you know it's right up there with breaking bad and weeds for me as far as all time you know uh f crazy best crime shows and you know what maybe looking at it from the outside in uh, or even if you've seen power you might not think it's a fantastic show i think it's the characters and the some of the situations that they get into uh the grittiness of everything if you guys like shows like the wire i think you really are going to take a you know uh you know a, a nice look at this show power or even power book two ghost and really appreciate it for kind of what it is now along with the saint patrick family you also get an introduction to zeke's family and that is run by the auntie who is played by Mary J. Bly. She plays Monet. And let me tell you something. I think that Mary J. Blige made a fantastic transition from singing to acting. I know she does both. I know she's still singing. But, you know, even in some of the smaller roles that I saw her in or movies that I didn't really care for, like Body Cam that we got earlier this year, I think she's doing a fantastic job just on some of these side roles. And man, when she was shown on screen she plays a boss to the t and i'm so glad her involvement so we pretty much get an introduction to who she is at the end of this episode of episode one the stranger uh where she's pretty much someone who's calling shots you know she orders a hit from someone that started a fight at the party so we get to see her boss status as well as finding out that i guess her ex-husband or ex whoever it was uh that was part of the family was someone that had some kind of gang ties or mob ties or or she was a boss himself and she's holding it down the same way tasha was holding down ghost so we pretty much get a replicant family st patrick family that Tariq is now once again involved in and I think it's an awesome, I, of course, ironic spin on things. It's completely implausible, not believable whatsoever, but it's okay. We're living in this fictional world of power, and I'm glad that they're tying in everything, you know, along smoothly for me. All right, guys, so episode two is called Exceeding Expectations. It's a reference to Great Expectations, a book that Tariq is reading in one of his college courses. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention about episode one of Power Book 2 Ghost is all the tie-ins from Power with the cast. So once again, that's a, another reason for you to watch power guys trust me you're gonna like it but anyways this episode uh you do get sax is back you get um a lot of these older characters thrown in this guy gian paulo he plays Braden weston who's also a friend of uh tariq uh from an old college uh episode i believe and then you know uh he kind of transfers over to this new college and he says that his parents you know his parents are wealthy and uh weston they bought like uh, a couple of buildings or something like that and uh yeah they have a great name on uh, on on campus, and uh, you know there's a great scene in episode two where there's like a house party going on, and uh, they kind of allude to them not getting the greatest drugs. So Tariq kind of sees that and is like, hmm, maybe I can make some money here. So I think he's definitely, you know, with his ties with the old stripper that his mom used to know. And uh, I think he's going to start getting into the game a bit and maybe double up his clientele on campus, which I always thought he kind of would do, you know, uh, off the last season of Power. But it's a little more emphasized, you know, greatly in these first two episodes. So it's good seeing that as well as he's learning a little more about Monet's family played by Mary J. Blige and uh, kind of her ties once again another St. Patrick family it seems like and he's getting very buddy buddy uh, you know with Zeke as well as the character of Diana Tejado played by Latoya Tonato so she is a kind of a cool tie-in I think and a love interest possibly for Tariq even though Tariq has a couple of crushes going on and it's pretty interesting interesting to see because we saw in the last season of power you know his kind of love interest is at the other college as well so who knows who Tariq's gonna go with but 
like father, like son. I mean, James St. Patrick was the same way. He had a couple of girls on the side. So it's interesting to see that he always talks about he's nothing like his father, yet he's like his father in many, many ways. We also get some character cameos from uh, Simon Stern, a character that we did see out see throughout the Power series. Someone that was pretty much the benefactor, the the financial uh, backing to Truth, to uh, you know the St. Patrick's Empire, and he does kind of make an entrance here with Tariq, who's now supposedly the sole heir once he completes his college course. Uh, so he's trying to help him out as much as he can because that St. Patrick money is his money as well. They have, you know, kind of go hand in hand. So it was cool to see, you know, their interaction, Tariq and Simon, as well as uh, David Zayas plays Uncle Frank. Uh, I know he's a big star, as uh, you know, on TV and stuff. Uh, I couldn't name any of the things that he was on, so I'll probably put him up right here uh, for those of you that do follow his career. Uh, but it was cool seeing him, you know, spoiler alert, he does get offed. Uh, they do find out that he is a snitch because he got out two years early and that is kind of the tie-in information with Tariq that wants him, that makes him want to investigate Tariq a little more. And how does he know that Uncle Frank was a snitch, you know, like other than the obvious, uh, you know, him getting out early on good behavior. But so it makes Monet, Mary J. Blige's character, you know, just a little more intrigued. And she tells Zeke, well, you better find out some more information about him because this guy is more than what it seems. And overall, I'm having a good time and it seems very, very fluid. And I don't only want to give kudos to the cast, but also the people behind the cast. So the show creator, we get Courtney Kemp. She is back. She birthed power, you know, with executive producer 50 Cent and they're both back, you know, for this one. So it's good to see them all back together. That's what makes a show work, right? Is when you get all the same people together. And I love the direction as well as the writing from Monica Mitchell, who was also involved in power. So, so far, so good, man. These are female-led shows that I am loving. So I love the inclusion. I love, you know, all the representation, guys. You got to take a chance on these. I feel like Stars is definitely a place that is coming up. You know, it's almost like an HBO Max type of thing where you have a lot of these good shows on the rise. So I was following Power for like six, seven years, guys. And I think you should definitely take a chance so you can follow up and check out Power Book to ghost i know it's a crazy name but they're already planning book three and book four in the next couple of years but that's for a whole nother video guys so let me know your thoughts when you've seen the episodes guys down in the comments below of power book two ghost episodes one and two all right guys and if you guys did appreciate my video please give me a thumbs up make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe and bell notification for more content like this till next review i'm gone Peace.